What do you do? Kitsune Kitchen. <laughs> Kitsune Kitchen. Yeah. Anyway. Uh... Start. Hello, darling. I know, Mom. <laughs> We're on our way back from Uncle Stanley's house in Florida. Make sure he takes the trash out. Take the trash out. And don't forget to have some lunch. And none of them Asian cartoons while you're gone. Don't burn the friggin' house down either, son. Okay. This is a perfect time to throw out all the weird stuff I've been hiding. <laughs> Goodbye, Traps Weekly. What the? What is this weeb junk? You could talk. I'm much surprised you can talk considering all the socially damning evidence you're clearing out. <laughs> Where did he buy a Trap Weekly magazine? You gotta wonder. That's pretty mean, dude. Shh. Come closer. I can teach you the ways of the love doctor. <laughs> Me. Plus, you won't need any of this filth any longer. Is it saying he's... This is a talking garbage can that's <laughs> offering to teach you shit. I jerk off to trash cans. <laughs> I jerk off to trash cans. <laughs> I don't know if I should take advice from a dumpster. <laughs> Look here, you little scamp. Dumpster's got more soul of a wheel than you've ever had in your life. <laughs> Fine. Teach me how to be a real beefcake. What the fuck? Slow down there, buddy. I'm no miracle worker. But I could show you how to look for love in places your tiny little monkey brain has been ignorant to for all these years. You see, ladies like to eat. So you, my boy, need to learn how to become one with the kitchen. The mouth is the fastest way to the heart, I always say. Now get your keister in the kitchen and learn to cook up some love, baby! Taking out the trash sure has got me mighty famished. There's nothing I love more in this world than a tasty homemade BLT sandwich! Food of the gods, I say! I guess I should find the bread first and get it nice and toasty. To do. Jerk off to trap porn. <laughs> Boom. Look at that bread! Time to toast this bread. Boom. Oh, man. Practically a master chef already. Yeah. A face appears on the side of the toaster. Huh. I could either talk to the toaster or slam the bread in. <laughs> you know, I'm a refined gentleman. I'm going to talk to the toaster. Uh, hello? Hi there, m no! master. No! Hmm. What's your name? My name is Toaster Chan! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit shy. I've never spoken to a human before. Oh, wow! <laughs> so, what do you think about bread? Bread? I love bread. <laughs> I love everything about it. The way it enters me all soft and Jesus fluffy. Christ. It hardens up as it gets hotter inside. Oh. Oh my, I've gotten all flustered just thinking about it. <laughs> I've gone and embarrassed myself and right in front of Master. Stop it. M Master, may I? Oh, shoot, I didn't read the last part. Can I, can I oh, go no. back? I don't think I can go back. What is your favorite meal of the day? Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's call it lunch. I like lunch. Lunch, you can make anything. Lunch? Like. I don't know much about lunch. I only ever got used in the morning time. Oh, shit. No, I, you made I her go, sad. What'd you do? I really like breakfast too. Breakfast? I love breakfast so much too, Master. Wow, that was a seamless recovery. She must be really dumb. I can't <laughs> believe we share a favorite meal. <laughs> Maybe we could spend every morning together. You sliding those thick and delicious slices of bread or even those rock hard frozen waffles inside of me. Maybe I will have some waffles after this. Damn. That actually does sound pretty good. That does sound good. <laughs> There's no better feeling of warming up my insides while yummy food presses into my tight springs. It <laughs> warms up until I just have to pop. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if there was a toaster talking to me this way. <laughs> You know, I really need those slices to be toast. I could toast those for you. C go ahead, master. Slide <laughs> it inside me. <laughs> you take one slice and push it down into the first hole of Toaster Chan's glistening What would have body. happened if you had just slammed it in without even talking to her? She well, that just... would have been rude, and maybe she would have been into it. This she would have been into weird. it. <laughs> That's it, sir. You're filling God me damn up it. nicely. Stop it. Shall I put one in your other hole? <laughs> 
<laughs> Toaster Chan blushes under you and smiles as she stares into your eyes. Stop it. Y yes, please, Master. Oh, I man. want it so badly. I can't wait to squeeze tightly around it all. You know, the, the worst thing about this is... um. We have a toaster that we did draw a face on. <laughs> we did. I don't know if we'll be able to see it any differently than the, now. Damn you it. You slide bread into her rear <laughs> hole and push it down deeply. Tightly tap your finger against her sensitive lever. You figure it down slowly. Click. This is the danger of anime. It'll make you a weave that this is sexy for. Ugh. This game sexualizes a toaster. <laughs> And a trash can. Man. Could you imagine being so sad and lonely as a weeb that you start looking at your toaster and you're like, Mmm, sexy toaster. <laughs> toaster Chen moans and glows from within as the warmth builds up inside her. Her springs tightened her and her walls around the thickness held deep inside. I can't believe that someone was able to come up with this much innuendo about the functionings of a toaster. <laughs> Dude, you could write something like this about a refrigerator. <laughs> you could write something like this about anything. Her breathing gets heavier and heavier. Her interior hotter and hotter. A squeal is released as her hard toasty oh, breath no. explodes out from within <laughs> her body. What the fuck? You she turned into a person? Fresh toast. Fuck. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. What just happened? Did I just have a conversation with a toaster? Even worse, though. Did that just fulfill some kind of fantasy she had? <laughs> she, it, toaster. It's just a toaster, right? Just a toaster. Dude, that's a sexy toaster. <laughs> what really matters is that I now have two slices of the puzzle here. My grand creation and ultimate BLT is one. No, two steps towards completion. This is just like my comics. The kitchen, my dungeon, and I, the hero, in this culinary quest the greatest treasure of all. Lunch! Like I said, lunch is a better meal. The kitchen, the dungeon, and I? I guess he's supposed to be like a gamer or something, and it's like a dungeon. <sighs> there are dungeons that have very sexy things that are willing to like throw themselves at you, but, you know, the good ones subvert it and make it like a sword. It's like screaming, Wield me, master! And it's like, uh, I don't know. The hunger must really be getting to me. I better start cooking up some bacon for this sandwich. Oh, please don't be talking bacon. Please no. It should be in the fridge. We're at... Oh, no. Is it a sexy mm, fridge? Sexy fridge. Oh, God, it's a sexy fridge. Oh! <laughs> you tug on the handle of the refrigerator door, but it does not budge. Ah! Oh! Fridgette. Fridgette. <laughs> Hello. Excuse me. Could you remove your hands from my body? Stop. I could just force that door open. Why does it give me the asshole option? God, I bet there's even like positive interactions or something that's shitty. Anyway, apologize. Oh, geez, I'm sorry, Mr. Refrigerator. You see, I just really need to get in there. It seems rather forward, don't you think? Please forgive me, Miss Fridge. Teach me how to change! My name is Fridgette. And in my home country of Sweden, we learned to forgive. His hands were so warm on me. Usually I don't like the feeling of warm things, but this time it felt so strange. So good! Did you hear this? Because it was like she thought it. <laughs> no, it's her inner monologue. How can I be of service? <clears throat> Let's just go love. <laughs> Lo uh, uh, well, actually, you're uh, uh. quite a handsome... Well, actually, you're quite a handsome refrigerator. Just... <laughs> Side note, never call a woman handsome. No. What the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, even if, like, she's statuesque, women, femininity, beautiful, use the right terms. Do I come here often? I'm a refrigerator. How could I ever leave? Uh, I... Is it getting hotter in here to you? I can help with that. <laughs> the refrigerator door whisks open with a cool breeze of air brushing against your face like a gentle kiss. What would you like to take? This is... Take meat! Give me meat, daddy. <laughs> you got some bacon. Now you gotta cook the bacon. Alright. I guess. Alright, now that I have the meat, it's time to turn up the heat. You crank the heat up to medium and whip the meat out of the package. <laughs> Mm. Ah, what? Oh my god. T Pen Turn it off, you idiot. It's, Baka. It's Penelope. Just... 
I could just continue cooking like a total asshole, but instead I'm going to turn up the heat. And She's talk a young deer, I'll bet. Talk to this nice pan. In a fit of nervous floundering about, you click off the heat. Are you okay? I didn't mean to hurt you. Fuck what you. What the hell? With this weird anthropomorphic shit. Shut up, stupid. You didn't make me feel bad. That's for sure. However, you didn't finish oiling me first. You don't need it for freaking bacon. How could I clean you? You definitely don't look very experienced. The pen continues on about how inadequate you are as a human being. You managed to push through the barrage of humiliation to grab the olive oil. I don't like all the options to just force through this stuff right at <laughs> the beginning. That makes this game feel a little rapey. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Ugh. Uh, like, no, stop, please don't. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Extra virgin. <laughs> virgin, I guess it will have to do. What? Extra virgin olive oil is great. It hasn't got any lingering flavors. But hey, <laughs> it's got the word virgin in it, so of course. What are you just standing there for? Oil me up now, would you? You stammer as you approach the pan. That's how you spell stammer. Stemor. <laughs> Stemor. As it shakes in your grasp, you tilt the bottle over the pan, the, oily dr the oil drizzling onto her face. That's the spot! Yes! Why are you oiling for bacon? It's got a shit ton of grease in it. That's what I was saying. <laughs> it's like you don't need to grease a pan for bacon. What's next? Well, could just give it more oil, but I'm going to turn the heat back on. Do you set the heat to... Well, I'm cooking bacon, so medium. it's going to be medium. You crank up the heat to six and the oil in the pan starts to get active, hissing in delight at the rising temperature. At least you think it's the oil. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. What are you staring at? Get your meat out already! <laughs> you unzip your wrap packaged raw meat. <laughs> bacon? I guess bacon does come in packages that you it, can unzip. It does. Sometimes. And notice the feeling of its flaccid, floppy texture. Oh my god! <laughs> They found a way. Soon it will be nice and hard, ready to slam into that tasty sandwich. Screams of culinary accomplishment <laughs> reverberate throughout the kitchen as your meat enters the pan. I've never cooked such long Shut meat before. Up. My body, it's getting so filthy, I can hardly stand it. The pan starts to vibrate along with the oil <laughs> inside. The aroma of meaty, greasy love pours into your soul. The seed of knowledge sprouts in your mind. You are now a novice chef. I got an accomplishment. You've been a novice chef. Learning the ingredient of love will get you far in life. Flip it. Now. Your shaky hands and feeble mind collide as you reach into the searing hot pan, pinching the meat tip with your fingers and flipping them harshly stupid. over. Why are you doing that with a fork? The, the cursor is a goddamn spatula. Why aren't you using that? God. The pain is severe, but you get over it, idiot. I idiot asshole. Uh, oh my gosh! No one's ever had their fingers in me while I was this high! <laughs> Ugh. Take me off! I'm done! Hmm. Could leave it off a bit longer. Uh, uh, take, take off, off the, the perfect, perfect bacon. bacon. You, got you pull the solid meat out of Penelope. <laughs> oh, what a... Picture! It's just perfectly positioned. The stove no longer heated. You got bacon. The baconator. You know, best to wash her now. It's time to clean up this mess. Aw, uh, you're no fun. I was just getting warmed up. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to love continuing quest for the ultimate BLT. You're like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was seriously hot. <laughs> I should get some ice to cool down. Would the ice even be safe? Not that I seem to be any real danger. What could it really hurt to indulge myself in the desires of my kitchen tools to be used? There's nothing weird about that at all. Other people cook all the time, and they turn out okay. This bacon smells great. My spirit is starting to awaken at the effectiveness of our newfound tools. <laughs> Alas, our legendary quest continues. Now we need veggies, which means... Back to the fridge. I have to go back to Miss Bridget. Oh my goodness! And of course she's all anthro now. She is. Fuck you, Gabe. <laughs> How can I be of service? Love. <laughs> Your sister's a milk truck! <laughs> <laughs> Love. You look nice in this light, Bridget. How is this light any different than usual? Oh, well I guess what I mean is... I've always thought the fridge was the most important part of any kitchen. 
thank you for this compliment. I do need to get something else. I've been enjoying our little encounters, Fridget. You may be a bit cold at times, but I know you'll never let me down. I'm gonna give you up. That may be just because you have not needed to go down into my freezer drawer at all. <laughs> Haven't needed anything. But if you wanted me to check, I can do that. It could hurt to check. Just make sure. You lower yourself to the freezer, cautiously sliding your fingers inside the loop of her handle. Your fingers curl, reaching that sweet spot that allows you to tug and slide it all the way open. Wow. God damn it. I don't think there's anything I need in here. Keep looking deeper. <laughs> you ruffle through the frozen goods. Peas, clams, sausages. Nothing you need for a BLT. The fridge rattles and quakes as you shift through her goods, and her doors pop open, revealing the items you really came for. Ahem. Ahem. Take the vegetables. You got some vegetables. <laughs> Alright, I got vegetables. That means I gotta cut them up with uh, a knife. A sexy knife. Come on, man. Oh, really? no. I should probably be careful with this knife. If it ends up being anything like the others, I wouldn't want to get myself shanked. You cautiously approach the knife and <laughs> handle. The knife giggles. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you alive? Of course I'm alive. I've been right here waiting for you all day. Just waiting for you. This is the one that's going to make me the least comfortable. Y you've been waiting for me. How did you know I was coming? Well... I didn't. I'm always waiting for you, really. It's about time you showed up. Okay, Yikes. anthro knife. No! What the hell? Now you can show me. Because you're grabbing the handle. Uh-huh. That's stupid. Stupid! <sighs> Ch choke you? Yes. Wrap your hands around me and squeeze me tight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do it now! You grab the handle of the knife and lift it off the countertop. Yes, harder. S squeeze harder. Oh my god. Freak girl. Alright, squeeze harder. Yes, you need a tight grip to control the blade. This is just like fortune fire. <laughs> now up and down. Up and down. No! You bounce. Sharpe, <laughs> up and down, feeling her rub against the palm of your hand. The moisture and warmth rattles your hand bone. Your you hand realize bone. your palm has gotten clammy. Mom's spaghetti. <laughs> That's it. That's how you use a knife. You place the now moist knife back down on the counter. Sheesh, you really need to practice more. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. A word immediately sprang to mind, and it wasn't knife. Mm. Do you think so? I need to cut some vegetables for my sandwich. Cut? I love cutting. What do you need to cut? I'll cut anything. I mean it. Anything. What was he doing earlier when he was stabbing it? Was he just masturbating the knife? I mean, yeah. were you cutting the damn lettuce before, you idiot? I'm just imagining a guy waving a knife around the kitchen up and down. <laughs> Just like, is it like this? Am I choking hard enough? He's saying to thin air. It's like shake weight. Sharpay's eyes glare at you with a sharpness that makes you shiver. You chuckle out nervous laughter. Sharpay, right? Can you help me cut some things? Sharpay lets out a devilish laugh that seems more like moaning. I like it when you beg. I beg for it. Please? Arr! Please? You're kind of boring. What do you want to use me for anyway? Oh, well, I got some vegetables from Fridget for my BLT sand. Uh, excuse me? Oh. BLT? It's a Jealous. sandwich with bacon, Jealous. lettuce. Fridget, Fridget? How dare you? <laughs> Sharpay's blade shakes atop the counter, silver fading into pink, pink darkening into a red glow as steam rises up around her. <laughs> Where's that cold-hearted floozy? I'll kill her. I'll cut the ice out of her thick, selfish <laughs> chest. I bet that loose door would open up nice and wide for me anyway, the tramp. You, how dare you betray my trust? Never met. Bitch, I didn't even know you before this. <laughs> Ha! Ah, I didn't mean... Shut up! I need to cut! <laughs> Give me something to cut! 
Well, we were cutting uh, the uh, lettuce was the next. No, oh, vegetables was the next step. So it could be either one. Uh -huh. Something juicy or something choppy. Well, let's go something choppy first. I need to cut some lettuce. You lay the head of lettuce on the cutting board. Gosh, the head is so big and round. Uh, I've seen plenty bigger, though. Well, you're just going to stand there or you're going to get this party started. Party? There's a party. Wow. Kind of feel bad for this lettuce, you know, since it's clearly more intelligent than you. Uh, just shut up and use me already, would you? You are my least favorite utensil. <laughs> well, that includes the Andari pan over there. <laughs> you need the knife in your hand and feel your control of the situation swiftly evading you. Your hand violently plunges down towards the lettuce, impaling the mighty green beast. It has been slain, or so you think. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. Your hand, apart from your own desires, dives deep for a second stab into the lettuce. The stabbing begins to take a pace. You cannot stop the violence. <laughs> stabbing? What, has this person never actually made or prepped food? Like pre Probably. Prepping lettuce is easy peasy, man, depending upon the type. Like, lettuce cuts through like air. This you just go chop, 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 and it's done. This guy strikes me as the epitome neat child. I, I'm just wondering about the game dev, if they just took artistic liberties, or if they don't actually know how to chop lettuce. Haha, <laughs> I love taking my rage out on those stupid vegetables. How about this tomato? Tomato? Sharpay's feelings seem to have drastically changed. Is something wrong? It's just that I've always <laughs> wanted to cut a tomato. Sharpay blushes. It's so red. Just like blood! <laughs> oh, she's got it. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Okay. Can I pick you up? Do it slowly. I want to enjoy how it feels against my face. You lift up the plate and center the juicy red tomato on the cutting board. Chope lets out another creepy laugh as the edge of her plate teases the tomato's fragile, sensitive skin. I'm pushing it in now. <laughs> The bulging redness splits and shreds apart. The soaking interior lets out squirts of liquid onto Sharpay's face. <laughs> Strangely, it seems to disappear as qu quickly as it leaks out. Mm. The blade makes contact with the board, and you lift the knife up. Sharpay gasps. I can barely breathe down there. I want more. Now! Kinky. Um... I <laughs> do that. She seems like the type that you gotta wrangle in. Uh, what would you do, I guess? Oh, uh, fuck me. No means no. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> so pay tears of uh, blah, blah, blah. I thought we had something. I still love you. I'm I happy to disappoint you. Would you like to put your sandwich together? Yes. Oh, what? Fuck, I put a sock in it. Well, don't put socks in your sandwich. Gross. Whoops. Ah! Are those underpants? Yes, they are. Queen. There's only a little bit of panty and sock <laughs> in there. You lay a slice of toast down and cover it with crispy, meaty bacon. You drape it with a few blankets of luscious green lettuce and rest two lovely red slices of tomato atop its organic bread. The tomatoes are then sealed into their tomb by another perfect slice of golden brown toast, and the masterpiece is finished. The artist pleased until a shrill cry pierces his heart. I can finally take a blood bite of my BL. Hey, yo, salt shaker. Who put salt in their sandwich? Did you hear something, BLT? Over here, you big dummy. Wait. Oh, come on, man. Why you gotta make a lolly character for this? Am I gonna have to stop this game here? Not that I'd be losing much. It's like a high pitch shrieking. Maybe I have tinnitus or something. Down here on the counter, you idiot. I hope you're just a short person. Oh, the salt shaker. Hello. <laughs> Jeez, it's about time your idiot brain figured out how to look around the room. Are you forgetting something? Hmm, take out the trash, eat lunch, no tidy. Nope, I don't think I am. Me, you brainless fart. I've watched you waltz around this kitchen, bending over backwards for Jesus every Christ. stinky appliance in the building. How dare you forget about me, the most precious little piece around. Not to mention I can really shake it, you know. Oh, we're done. And quit. <laughs>
Bye. Holy shit. Holy shit. I was like, this is going to go somewhere bad pretty quick. And it was like, the s &M stuff was like, yeah, oh, this really isn't my thing. I gave, gave me shit for being like, oh, I'm not into this. I don't like it, whatever. And then fucking salt shaker fucking child comes in. No, sir, I don't like it.